All right, I wanna talk about the divine feminine women that don't exist. Now, what you gotta understand is women don't build a house, they make a home. Women don't create an environment, they make the environment heaven. Women molded, they, they get molded and they get shaped by the environment that they're in. All there is right now is there's a matrix, there's a, there's a society that's molding and shaping women into gold diggers and man haters and feminists. That is all that, they, that exists. The opposite environment, society, world has not been created yet. So the women in their divine feminine nature don't exist yet. They're very rare. Now, there is certain little pockets where they are part of communities that mold and shape the women in a decent manner. But on a, on a large scale, they don't exist yet. And the thing about women is they can be healed, cured. They can be uh, like trauma can be healed through orgasm. See, women can have multiple, multiple orgasms and they can they can heal very quickly okay so once they have an environment where they feel safe enough to open up and actually let go and have orgasmic pleasure where they're not judged by an outside judgmental shaming society these women will return back to their natural state of divinity divine feminine nature immediately overnight so you don't have to worry about the women as a man it's time for you to start building start creating this, this new world that we're creating is going to be a perfect breeding environment for women to, to remember who they are and uh, realize they don't have to feel shame, realize they don't have to play games with sexuality, realize they don't have to feel judged, realize they're allowed to feel pleasure, realize that, that they deserve, like, who's to say that a woman has to be guarded so much so that she can only have sex with a man who has all the options of women what the fuck is that kind of belief system right there where a woman can only have sex with a man who's going to literally hurt her that doesn't make any sense so we've raised a society where women feel like they have to go for a man with options who can never commit to them, but they simultaneously are a slut and a whore if they don't find commitment from a man. What? We are literally brainwashing women to create trauma for themselves, to poke holes in their auras, to become breeding grounds for entities to come into their light bodies. Wow. And we wonder why they hate men and they can't have orgasms. There you go. All right, so... What we really need to instill into the belief system of women is that you're allowed to have pleasure. You, um, you're, you're allowed to be surrounded by many positive dominant men who will be there for you and protect you. Uh, regardless if there's a commitment or not, you're good. You're safe within the tribe. You can open up, you can feel safe. If you get pregnant, you'll be taken care of. You don't have to worry about your pregnancy, uh, being becoming a single mom. You don't have to hold on so tightly to a man that you scare him away. We need to get rid of all this shit. And I'm telling you, it's getting rid of itself. The general public and society is going into the new world order within a year. Within a year, there will be a new world order. There'll be a collapse of some sort that will make things have to change. And it'll be smooth, it'll be a smooth change. But there'll be new laws, new rules, new regulations that will cause a lot of people to wake up and kind of band together and create new communities. It's not like we're gonna go off grid and live, live in the fucking forest. More so, we're just gonna get more connected, more close. We're gonna have more events where like-minded individuals get together and we can live in our own uh, bubble. 
And this bubble will have its own belief systems, which are not subject subjugated to negative thinking and disempowering thoughts. They will be empowering um, upward spirals, which lead us towards um, our highest purpose, divinity, and selves at all times. And there will be lots of pleasure, lots of orgasms, lots of fun, lots of... Um, Less, less heartbreaks, less commitments being broken, less commitments being formed in the sense that the main commitment that we have is to each other's greatness and uh, building each other up, right? And so we don't set ourselves up for failure by attaching with the ego. No, the tribe has got us. Everybody's taken care of. Um, there's no need to, to feel attached um, because attachments, attachments just lead to pain. Attachments lead to fear of loss. Fear leads to anger and pain. I mean, they, they say this in Star Wars. They say this in all the, the great movies. And it's true. As soon as you get your ego involved, especially in your love life, you spill disaster right there. Love life is just about pleasure. It's just about sharing love, presence of the moment, joy and pleasure of the moment, and creating life. Yeah. And guess what? The tribe is there for the children. The tribe will take care of the children. There's no more white picket fence where it's you versus the world and better better not come onto my property or I'll shoot you with my gun. The Republican, Democrats, this shit is all going to go bye-bye. It's all going to dissolve on, on the side that we're on. And on this side, it's going to be basically everything is based on the heart chakra. Do I love myself? Okay, then I love you. Simple as that. Do I take care of myself? Okay, I take care of you. As simple as that. You're taking care of yourself, so am I. I'm taking care of myself too. Let's come together now that we're two wholes. And now we can actually exist and coexist. Not two halves make a whole. It's not how it works. Two wholes come together and experience wholeness. And on that note, I'm out.